Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Physics Essentials video 65. It's on heating, which is the transfer of thermal energy from one object to another. A great example of that is a hot air balloon. I have a friend in town, Scott Taylor, who used to take me up in his balloon. Here's a picture of it. It's magical. What you're doing is heating up the gas molecules inside it, and so it's becoming more buoyant than the air around it. Now, you're going to lose through heating heat to the surroundings over time, so you have to have these giant propane blowers on the bottom, so fire comes shooting out of that. And one thing that struck me right away is you immediately get hit by radiation, this blast of radiation. So two objects don't have to be touching for them to transfer heat. But let's say we do have two objects, one hotter than the other, and we connect them. Energy is going to flow between the two. And so that process is called heating. Now that heating over time will cause the higher and lower temperatures to eventually reach the same temperature and the amount of energy that's been transferred is heat. Now that heating can occur in this case through conduction but it also could occur through convection, conduction, and radiation. Now what's convection? That's movement of fluids. So for example that's what causes hot air to rise or boiling water to move to the top. Conduction is when it's actually touching and then radiation is when we're moving electromagnetic radiation from one place to another. We're clearly not touching the Sun but we're getting radiation that's causing increases in the temperature on our planet. But if we were to look at this touch, this conduction at the microscopic level, we'd find that the particles in the warmer area are colliding with the particles in the cooler area. And they're transferring kinetic energy and that's where that heat is actually flowing. Now a good way to look at this transfer of heat is through a campfire. If I have a thermometer situated a distance away, it's getting hit by electromagnetic radiation and so it's heating up that thermometer. Now if I were to move the thermometer to the side and actually touch the fire, now it's conduction. Those molecules are running into the molecules of the thermometer, it's heating it up. Now we have radiation plus conduction, and if we were to move that thermometer above the fire, now we've got convection going on. We're heating up all that air, and that hot air is transferred right directly to the thermometer, so that's going to be the hottest. Now, AP Physics folks want you to know what's going on right here at this interface between the fire and the thermometer. And so to understand that, you have to look at the molecules themselves. The fire molecules are going faster than those in the thermometer and so they have a higher amount of kinetic energy and they're literally colliding with that low energy molecules inside the thermometer. So let me just grab a couple of those two particles. We've got the fire particle which is moving faster than those found inside the thermometer. It has higher kinetic energy and so let me slow this down but show you what happens. As they collide with one another we're transferring some of that kinetic energy. So now the fire has less kinetic energy than it did before but the particle inside the thermometer has more so we've transferred that heat through direct touch or through conduction. And so did you learn to make predictions about the direction of energy transfer especially at the microscopic level? I hope so and I hope that was helpful.